Now this paint just happens to be extremely thin. It's almost like water. It's so thin. Right around the hole where it was superheated here in the middle, um, there's all kinds of excellent um, texture that I just really enjoy seeing in a wing. Almost finished here. I'm gonna pick it up, and you can, when you pick it up and let light under it, you can see all kinds of very thin areas. So we may have to come back and do a second layer on this one as well. And we're, yeah, we're definitely going to come back and do a second layer, but uh, this one we're just going to set aside and dry for now. And we will put glitter on it, but not yet. We'll, we'll wait until we put the second coat on so we can have the glitter on the very back. I just put the second layer of blue paint on the wing and now I'm going to add glitter while it's still wet. Okay. You don't have to use the heat gun. I was just trying to get it to set a little quicker. Uh, for the black wing, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to come back with the black paint. Add a little bit more. I didn't let it dry quite enough, so I'm making it glob up a little bit here, which is not what I really want. Fill that in. Don't forget to get the edges on the black one. Just, you'll be able to see that very easily if you if you forget <laughs> you'll notice later and I'm going to sprinkle the back side of this because I think the plain black is just too plain now the back side is like a deep purple uh, sparkle 
on the black because I haven't done anything with the heat and then the front side has all that those multiple colors and uh, this white spot here is just where the gallery glass hasn't dried completely through but it will so that will clear up and it'll be perfectly clear and this is the back side and that that would be the front side we're gonna let these dry completely and then we'll come back and now for the final touch touches we have all three wings they're completely dried and we're just going to use the heat gun to make the glitter heat up and change color on um, the fairy wings and the dragon wings and the bat wings are already complete That's it. These, are, these wings are all ready to go. Back this up so you can see all of them. Now we have all three different wings and all three, they're all three different. You can also, don't forget you can always use different colors, different shapes. Um, you can draw your wing patterns. You can get ideas from other animals. You can make those wires look like cicada wings. There's, there's lots you can do with these. Um, here, the top is the bat wing, under the bat wings, and on the back you can see the gallery glass. You can see the shine on it. Um, and that was using, this was using the black gallery glass on the front with the glitter. Then you let it dry and you use the heat gun over it and then paint the edges black. The next set are the dragon wings, and this was using the clear gallery glass, let it dry with the glitter on it, um, let it dry, uh, use the heat gun to make the glitter sparkle, and this was the clear, I'm sorry, this was the clear side and with the glitter on it, and then we let that dry and came back the next day, and on the back we added black paint and then more glitter, and then we use the heat gun on that after it was dry. Make sure you let them completely dry before you use the heat gun or else they'll bubble up really bad. Um, but you can see the difference. Even though they both have a black background and the exact same glitter, they look completely different. 